Hi, everybody. All right, so this is the first of many videos where we're going to be finalizing up the panel. We're panelizing. That's what that's what we're going to call it. This is the this is the panelizing video one. Uh, and so let's just talk about the obvious part of it, right? You know, not that the panel that I have created from spare aluminum here isn't adequate. It is. It's adequate. But I would like, you know, something that is a little bit more than adequate. And I did a lot of research and found that I could actually get the panel cut for cheap. And so that's what we're doing. So we'll be, we'll be going over all of that in the next many, many videos. Uh, first, we're just starting here by removing the left panel. So the right part of the panel is pretty easy. It's just the hole for the G3X. It's a hole roughly the same shape, or was, I'm sorry, it's same size as the G5, and that's for the EFI system controller. And then there's a couple of holes for the uh, light dimming, and that's it, really. The right, the right panel is pretty, pretty benign. Got a lot. I got a lot of real estate over there to to futz with stuff. It's the left side of the panel that's really the biggie, right? Where the, where the pilot sits, all the controls. So we're, we've taken it off, and I've got my calipers out. And so the ultimate goal of this is we're measuring everything, and I'm going to have uh, this computer cut because while I can cut, you know, computers are so much better. Uh, and I'm just making a CAD file, basically, right? Because Vans supplies the panel files. Thank you, Vans. Garmin supplies their instrument CAD for their measurements. Thank you, Garmin. And, and the rest is pretty much up to you, but, you know, it's pretty simple. Like, standard switches, I think, is uh, 0 0.428 of a hole to fit nicely. And, I th you know, like the breaker switches or this. You, you learn it all pretty quick. I just don't rem it's it's so easy I don't even remember it off the top of my head because I really don't do this that much. So here you can see I've got a pre-cut panel. So what I did was I found a, a company that does cutting online, right? Because what I did was I went, I went to like Stein. I'm like, hey Stein, will you cut my panel? And Stein said, no. We don't cut panels for people unless you're doing the full package. So it used to be they would you could just like send them in a panel design, they would cut it for you, whatever you wanted. But they don't do it now. They're so busy. They don't even do it unless you've got, unless you're doing like the full thing with avionics and everything. And I and I get that. So they referred me to a couple of places, but they were all like, you know, six, seven hundred dollars. Now that did include like doing engraving. I said, you know, there's got to be a better way. So I went online and I found this place. It's called SendCutSend.com. The link is in my group of links below. And one of the things that they do is they do laser or water jet cut uh, 2D stuff. So you just upload your CAD file and pick your material, and then they give you a price, and you either just say yes or no. So I've I've been measured, so I measured a bunch of stuff, and I've got the CAD file, and I am going to find, I'm, I'm actually in the description below, I'm going to share the CAD file. Uh, I'm going to share my final CAD file with everybody. Uh, that's how generous I am. And and they're great. So I had the whole panel cut in 5052 aluminum and the whole thing cost 100 bucks. <laughs> I think maybe 120 was shipping, right? And now yeah, I mean I I did have it was still trial and error as you'll see in a little bit because uh one of the things is that I'm using breaker switches for all the lights and stuff up front because I don't have enough room on the circuit breaker panel for like the strobes and that all that crap. So I'm using breaker switches, and that's fine. Problem is those things are one and a half inches or 1.4 inches across. So you can't really like place them where all those nut plates are. If you look down there at the bottom where the panel attaches, you see nut plates. Well, you, those switches don't really work there. So stuff like that. And so I did have to have the left panel cut a few times, or uh, actually a couple of times, but it has worked out great. And you'll see that coming to fruition in the next mini video. So. All right, next video, more panelizing. So thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.